two of the most important factors to be understood during preformulation are solubility and dissolution, especially for solid oral uh, dosage form development. Of course, these two are closely related in this present, and in this presentation, I'll discuss dissolution and solubility in, in some detail. Uh, clearly, dissolution is important when it comes to oral solid dosage forms. But dissolution could even be important, con, uh, an important consideration in the preparation of a solution product, uh, since most small molecules are provided in a solid form. The preparation of a solution in a manufacturing environment may well depend on dissolution properties. Uh, here's an outline of uh, the topics that we'll cover in this presentation. I'll first. Um, discuss some of the principles of diffusion, followed by some of the basic concepts related to dissolution. Following that, I will spend some time talking about several methods for characterizing dissolution during preformulation. And lastly, I'll talk a bit about in vivo relevance and how solubility and dissolution play into dosage form design and testing, uh, and really discuss uh, some more novel methods of dissolution uh, that are currently being developed and, and used uh, to, uh, to characterize dissolution in a more in vivo relevant way. So first, some basics related to the principles of diffusion. 